Welcome back. You're watching Five News tonight. Now, they do say that everybody needs good neighbours, especially on this channel. But what if your neighbours aren't that great? Well, according to a new survey, loads of people are having problems with the people next door. Loud voices and arguing is what's top of the list of annoyances. 41% of people had problems with it. 29% were disturbed by music and stereos being turned up too loud. And slammed doors drove 27% of people up the wall. Joining me now to talk about this is TV presenter Dominic Littlewood, who knows all about this kind of thing, not because of his own neighbours, but because of his programme, Street Patrol UK. Good to see you, Dom. And you too. It's all noise, isn't it? All about noise. The majority of it was. Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't say all of it, because there's an awful lot of things which can upset neighbours. You know, you've got things like trees and boundaries and pets and, and parking and rubble. And, and, you know, there's lots of things as well as noise, but the majority of it is noise. We've spoken to a few people about their own experiences, so let's get a flavour of what they're saying and their advice, and we'll get yours afterwards. Immature neighbours, you've had that. Don't care for anybody else, just for themselves. Uh, one neighbour was letting her child run up and down the flat above me for nine hours at a time. We talk. If it's a problem, you talk. That's the way it should be. You don't want enemies. I don't want enemies in life. I want friends. You never know when you're going to need your neighbours. Seems pretty sensible. You've got to have a word with them and not just shout through the wall. Do you know what? That is definitely the key because the second you fall out of a neighbour, I tell you, it's irreparable. You can't, you can't turn the clock back on that. And also, if things get bad and out of control, don't forget when you sell your house, you might have to declare that. And same for them as well, the fact that you've had problems. So knock on the door, explain the situation. Quite often, people might not be aware of the fact. You can suggest, can they move the TV or the stereo or even the child's cot away from the adjoining wall or into a different room? That might be all it takes. If it doesn't, mm. and they don't, and this quite often happens, and I get lots of tweets about this, if the problem consists, if it persists, then what you're going to need to do is move it up, turn the gas up a little bit, and then you start to diarise everything. Dates, times, what the noise is, and actually film it as well on your phone. Okay. So you can, you, can, you can see what time of night it is, get the picture of the clock, and start recording it. And then you need to mention, the first thing to do then is to contact the council. Because in this country, the law states that everybody who lives in a house is entitled to peace and quiet. And that is the law. You're entitled to, to live there without nuisance neighbours. Tell the council, every council has an environmental noise pollution department. You can do, quite often, you can set a complaint in uh, wheels in motion online. OK. Hopefully, they'll get things sorted out, but it won't be overnight. It can take weeks with the council. If you're not satisfied with what the, with what the council does, what else can you do? Well, you can complain to the local area ombudsman or local area council ombudsman uh, and, and hopefully try and get them to sort things out. You can complain to your MP, but what I would say is a lot of people don't think about this. You can get a writ served on the actual neighbour. It's not that expensive, two or three hundred pounds. There's two sorts out there, but the one that you want is called a tort of private nuisance. OK. It's very easy. You can look it up on the internet. And a judge will then serve a writ on your neighbour and say you're not allowed to make noise between this hours and these hours. And if you do, you're going to end up getting fined, possibly evicted if you're, if you're a tenant, not a landlord. I mean, there's, there's all sorts of avenues you can take. But some people have been tweeting me saying that you know, the neighbours have got eight dogs and they've had this problem for, mm. for three or four years. What it is, people aren't... They, they might have complained three years ago, but they're not keeping it up. You, know, you need to keep on it, keep on keep it, keep it. it. If you don't correct, you accept. Dom, thank you very much indeed. And I know you yourself have a, a parrot for a pet, but you keep it very well behaved, don't you? Well, as best I can. Absolutely. But he, you, know, he does, he, <laughs> you do end up with your fingers in your ears a few times. Thank you very much, Dom. Good to see you. And you too.